Welcome back to SciTech Intermountain Earthworks training videos. In this video, we're going to use our 160 Earthworks grader here to build in a road from over there where it comes off the asphalt, a construction road right down through where it's kind of wet right there from the water truck, and turn left. I'm going to show you how to build that in to our Earthworks systems here. We're going to go to our job setup here. And we're going to leave it on the same project we're on, South Weaver, but I'm going to change the design to infield. And right here, my data management or measured data, I'm going to leave that the same. I'm going to turn off the ex extra line work, and I'm going to go to where it says design. I don't currently have any designs there, so I'm going to hit the little black box to the side. I'm going to hit create. In this one, we're going to do an alignment and section. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to use the actual grader to shoot in all the points that I need. In another video, I'll show you how to go out and create it with the data collector. But what we'll do is back up here to the very beginning of where I want to make this come off the road. And I'm going to turn here so I can get one right against the edge of the road. So right where they come in, I'm going to use the left tip of my blade here to start my first point. So I'm going to come on the screen here and I'm going to use the focus. I'm not using points from a data collector or a template, I'm gonna go focus point right there, and I'm gonna start using the left side. You can see this icon that I can switch it left and right. I'm gonna make my alignment down to the middle of this road and then move it over after I build it. So on all these icons on the left, the first one that's highlighted in blue here is the one that I wanna start with. So out here, I'm on my left tip. I'm gonna set, pull up and straighten my mast up just a little bit, and I'm gonna set down, and I wanna tie in right there. Because my beginning elevation and my last one, I'm going to use as an elevation straight through. So now that I've recorded one, I'm going to go ahead and back up. And I'm going to make a couple more points as we go down through this road right here. I'm not as worried about the elevation at this point for where I take these shots as much as just getting the alignment. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to hit the plus icon one more time. And you can see every time I do this, I'm creating points and the more and more you take when you've actually got a bend the better when you straighten out it's not as big of a deal so I'm going to take a couple more that I need right here as I kind of take this turn go ahead and hit plus honestly it doesn't even matter if your blade was floating off the ground a little bit here if you're not going to use the existing elevation to build the road and what I mean by that is Every time I set down, it's creating a northing, easting, and an elevation you can see on the right side. But I'm more going for alignment, so I'm going to straighten out right now. I'm still using my left, left tip. So I'm stre stretching out a little bit on my shots. But up here to the left of me, I'm actually going to bend in between these piles. And just to show you how it doesn't matter on elevation, I'm going to lift my blade way up in the air for this one. I'm still getting where I need it to be, but that one's going to be way up in the air. And then my next one, as I come down here, I'm going to start straightening out a little bit and turning left also. So we're going to hit plus. Then as I bend here and turn, I'm going to take more shots. And I'll, it'll make more sense when I show you here in a second. Keep making my left turn here. And then we'll go up here and take maybe one more to finish this out. So right here. Now, the very last shot I want to make sure is not way up in the air or down in a major cut. And why I'm telling you this is because right now I'm in plan view. And you can see as I zoom in, I've got my alignment. More shots on the turn, less in the straightaway. But on the elevation tab here, if you look at it this way as you zoom in, you'll notice that it, it has the elevations as they go along, and one of them was just a little bit higher than the other, which is that one right there. What I want to do from where I come off the road is I want to keep the exact same elevation from there to there. So all these little ups and down, ups and downs are here, which is no big deal. 
there's an icon on the left right here that allows me as I've picked, you can see I've got the yellow in between those two. As long as the yellow is in between the beginning one and the end one, I can hit that button right there, and what it'll do is flatten out the elevation. So it gives me a really nice, smooth transition from the beginning to the end. So there's my elevation plan view. If I needed to edit any of those, I could come over here and edit the coordinates with uh, manually doing it, or if I had to actually touch and hold on one, I can move it that way. So let's say I did grab this one and move it. You can see how you can do that, but that's going to screw everything up. So you do have a little edit, undo, safety button right there, the back button to go back. Once I've got that established, it's step one of three. Going to go next. So now on the second one, it's asking, how do I want to build that design? Am I going to use a template already made? Am I going to use the focus point to make it? No, I'm going to make my own road. I'm going to go on screen. So from my zero and zero right there, I'm going to build in a little V-ditch, and then I'm also going to put a crown in the road to a V-ditch, just to show you. So right off the bat, we need to start with one, which is this blue icon. So from there, you can either key it in over here, or you can drag it on the screen. So let me show you. If I wanted to drag it, I could do it this way, or I can continue to make it. That's a little bit cumbersome because the more you zoom in and out, the scale changes. So I personally like to key the numbers in. So I hit the plus, and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to go one foot at zero to make a little flat spot. We'll go okay. And then I'm going to hit a plus again, but I'm going to now go, let's go five feet at a minus, I'm just throwing numbers out there, minus uh, 50%, make a nice little ditch down. Then what I'm going to do is do the exact same thing, but I'm going to go another uh, five feet at plus 50. That's going to come back up. Now I could call this the edge of my road. So let's say I want to make that road 20 feet wide. No, let's go 40 feet. So I'm going to say at 20 feet to the center line, I want to come up 2%. You can see I'm on 2% right there. Pretty shallow, pretty gradual, but as I pinch and zoom out, you'll see that I've made a V-ditch on one side up to a 2%. Now, here is a cool, is if you feel like you have want the exact same thing on the other side, you can do this mirror, uh, mirror option. If you need to build something completely different, like a 5% or a 4% or whatever on the other side, continue to build it. But if you want to hit this little mirror option, I can mirror from the original or the end. I'm going to hit mirror from the end, and now it made the exact same thing on the other side. If I like it, I can go to next, which is the last step here. And here's where it gets tricky, though. If you zoom in, you'll see if I roll it in 3D right here that it's built that road all the way to the right side, just like I did on the last screen. It's built it over from where I made the alignment. But I told you back at the beginning of the video, I want the alignment to be the center of that road. So what you have to do right here is these little icons, these arrows, you're going to hit this over, and it's going to go to each individual line that you made. And I want to center that alignment right out the middle of the road. So basically shifted it over. Now, if I had a scenario where at the very beginning there, at the top of the road where I did touch the edge of the asphalt, but I want it to extend a little bit in so I don't run off the design, that's where this A and B is. I could give it maybe 5 feet extra on one end and maybe 10 feet extra on the other end. And you'll see if I zoom in on it, that it changes from a solid line to a dotted line at the very end right there. So if I go to the other side of the road, you'll see that B was where I ended and then the dotted is where I extended it on. Now, the other reason why I wanted to show you guys to take more shots on the turn is mainly because what has happened is we don't have a tool in here yet hopefully it comes soon, to be able to allow us to smooth curve these turns. So that's why I take more shots on the turns. And we'll come back to this one. You can see that because I did that, it made a nice smooth curve on the end right there. I'm going to go ahead and name this my uh, job road. Go ahead and hit the enter and then hit apply. So now what it's done is it's created me a really nice job site that's in my infield design setup. 
Now, if you needed to change it, you can go to this little three buttons here and edit it. You can go to each one of those screens individually if you need, or you can delete it. But we'll go ahead and say select. You can see it's under South Weber, infill design, job site, and I don't want extra line work. So now, if we start backing up while it's loading, we should land right on that job site. Let's switch the screen to a uh, split screen here. We'll go to this one so you can see it in 3D, and maybe this one. Uh, we'll leave that one the way it is. So if I zoom back, you'll see that I've got a really nice V-ditch on each side and an actual defined, defined crown in the middle right there. So now we could even just spin around right here where we're at and start cutting it backwards, see how close we are. At least we're close enough now, we can start getting some trucks. Off design, no problem. What we'll do is line up right here on the one side of the road. Okay, now that we've spun the machine around, I'm going to turn my autos on, and you can see that I'm just floating right above the ground, just in time to go get some uh, trucks to start bringing material in.